the Avenues Mall. We're really excited to get to know our next guests. There's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> that is if you live in Clay County, and she, of course, is the woman behind the man. I'd like to introduce Clay County Sheriff Daryl Daniels and his wife, Denise. Guys, welcome to River City Live. Thank you for inviting us. Oh, no, it's a pleasure. And we just want to tease this in a little bit. We're going to play a newlywed game, and you guys have been married for 34 years. So this is going to be a fun newlywed game to play. It's kind of a tradition we have here whenever we have an elected official. And, and especially when you've been together for a minute. You know, it's yeah. nice to see what you remember and what you know about each other right now. I don't now. remember much. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a blur, hasn't it? It has been. So let's talk first of all about the goals and plans that you have right now, stepping into the role of sheriff. Okay, well, one of the first things that I wanted to do was try to bridge the gap between law enforcement and the community and so to achieve that you know I try to think about all the areas uh, of the community that that the law enforcement could go out and reach people and so to accomplish that um, I thought it'd be a good idea to do neighborhood walks and town hall meetings uh, connect with the business community the schools the churches and every opportunity that I could give people to engage law enforcement that's what I wanted to do so we'll be rolling a lot of that stuff out even though we're doing some of those things right now so obviously community involvement yes that's a, a big thing on your agenda to talk yes, about it is so so far how is that being received out in the community are people receptive of it they are they are, on board they are very receptive i've been getting nothing but positive feedback and the men and the women who work in the clay county sheriff's office have also uh, been getting positive feedback um, the people enjoy the fact that that they're getting to interact with law enforcement like i thought they would right mm -hmm. because people just really want to know that they have a voice and that their voice is being heard and how does that reflect when you start looking at the numbers and where crime is concerned. So how that, how that initiative is, is leveraged uh, to reduce crime is people are more invested or more, more prone to be invested in their own communities, in their own safety and security, and more prone to assist law enforcement than to put up a wall between them and law enforcement. And Denise, how has this whole experience been for you? Fun. Fun? Actually, yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> Ups and downs, almost like a roller coaster, but for the most part, it's been a lot of fun. Get to meet some very interesting people, um, just get a chance to talk to people in the community, and it's it's been... Fun. And it really, it, it comes back to the community. I mean, it, it's one of the big messages that you have. And, and I think, you know, it's kind of um, forming an alliance, if you will, because you guys are peers. You know, you, you're part. A lot of times with police force, people separate from it, but as soon as you know that, hey, these are husbands and wives and fathers. You get together and it, it is, it's a community then. Well, you know, here's what people fail to realize. Law enforcement is no more than members of the community who chose a certain profession. Exactly. No different than the mailman or the clerk at the grocery store or any other profession. We're just, we're just in a profession. And it's not about winning, it's about protecting those we love. And That's it's, right. We all have that, the same at stake, right? Our yep. families. And, and, and while we're on the subject of families, you've been so kind to submit yourself to our little goofy newlywed game that we do play. Oh, Lord. So uh, here's what we did. We had them fill out questionnaires as soon as they arrived here to the mall to see what they knew about each other and what each other would say about them. So, so we started out, I'm loving the faces. You must have been an eye roller as a kid, huh? <laughs> I'll bet. So what was the first meal your spouse ever cooked for you? So Sheriff, uh, let's find out, what did you say Denise was going to write on that card? Uh, what, what do you think Denise has on her card? What was the first meal your spouse ever cooked for you? What is she... I, I think the first, if I can remember right, the first thing that I cooked for her... Is that how you went? Me. Is that how you went with it? Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I can't even remember. It, probably, it was probably one even, of three things, if it, I know my e men. Either spaghetti... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it was spaghetti up there. <laughs> I think it might have been spaghetti. If it, I, I'm thinking it's always safe. What did you put down? Spaghetti. spaghetti I, I was nice. going to say with any man, it's a safe bet that yeah. he makes spaghetti the first I time. I get it. You but, boil some noodles. It's a meal. But, but Denise, <laughs> what about you? What, what do you think he put down that you made for him? Mm, macaroni and cheese. Really? Is that what you wrote, no, Sheriff? That's, that's not even what I wrote. Okay. What I, what I wrote was, okay, so when we were 17, she made some peanut butter cookies, and they were very good. Oh, uh -huh. yes, I 17. 17. Wow. But she made roast beef, rice, and cabbage, and yeah, the cabbage, that. there was room for improvement <laughs> on the cabbage. He wrote, even wrote, not good. <laughs> it's better now. So it's much better it's very now. Good Denise, now. you're a baker then, right? So cookies are your strong suit. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, All right, so, so we're not going to have Denise come on the show and make the cabbage, but... Yeah. <laughs> so let's go on to the next one, okay. So what is your spouse's most repeated sentence or phrase? All right, so Sheriff, what did Denise say yours is? Your most repeated Don't sentence look at or me. phrase. You're supposed to know it. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I, I have nothing. Okay, well, what, what did you say? What does he say? I said, I love you. I love you, That's okay. I all the time. All the time. Okay. And then what did he say yours is? <laughs> Any idea? <laughs> yeah. um, the big reveal, let's see. Let's see what it was. Let's see if we can surprise each other with that one. Really, Daryl? Yeah, really, really, Daryl? Really, really okay. Daryl? So we're going to yeah, do really. some, some rapid fire real quick, and you guys can both just hold up your cards, because these would match. When and where was your first kiss? Let's see, both of you hold them up, and let's see if you match each other. Okay, uh, 1982, first date after the movies. Is that what you had? Ah, my, at your oh. mom's house. Mm, we're gonna it have might to have been talk. multiple kisses. It, I think so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then the last one, I wish my spouse would stop fill in the blank. Snoring. Snoring. Oh, wah, wah. oh, is that you? I'm, I, you know, I might have been thinking about myself. Oh, it's okay, that's what he my, said okay. you would say about him. And what, what did you have? Uh, not <laughs> cleaning the pool. The pool's clean right now. Yes. Oh, the pool's clean right now. We just yeah. found that out. All right, so we want to make sure you can uh, learn as much as possible about what's going on in Clay County, and you can do that by accessing it through our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. We'll have all the info up there. Sounds good. Hey, Daryl, Denise, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you, Mark. That was a lot of fun. Thank Learned you. a lot about you guys, and you're doing such great things in the community, so keep up the good work. And again, we really appreciate you guys being on and sharing your message. Stick around. More River City Live coming up right after this. Lake County. <laughs>